friends, it's Kylie. And Noah. And in today's video, we're gonna be getting a new pet. And it's gonna be a mystery, so you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. But I've got my money, and we've got our masks, and we're ready to go pick up a new pet <laughs> during quarantine. saw in all those last clips it was um, just a whole bunch of fish and that was us at the pet store and I'm by both of my fish tanks right now there's a beta fish down there and then that's my community tank which has we're cherry barbs fish. tiger barbs and neon tentras um, we didn't quite get a fish but what we did get is going to go in this tank right up here all right you guys ready to see it we got that it's a yellow shrimp. <laughs> and this little guy is going to be living in my community tank. And yellow shrimp, they feed off of algae. So he's actually going to help clean my tank. And he also can eat um, any of the leftover fish pellets from them. I feed, I don't know the exact brand of it. Here, want to hold him? Okay, so I don't know the brand name of my fish food, but I feed the fish up there in the community tank just some freshwater pellets for tropical fish. Um, and he can actually eat these on the bottom because the fish don't finish all the food. So it can pile up in the rocks down there with the algae and that's actually what he'll be eating. So he's kind of cute and he's going to do a lot of good for the tank. And I need you guys um, to please comment down below some names in the next video. If we have named him by then, we will tell you guys what the name is. But we don't have a name. Remember, he's a yellow shrimp. So, and of course, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But I don't know. Yellow shrimp names. Comment down below some yellow shrimp names. So no one's filming for me right now. Thank you, Noah. Yep. And um, the reason we're not dumping him straight in is because whenever you get a new um, fish or just like reptile that's in water, you want to acclimate them to the water that's in your tank. So I'm going to leave him sitting here for probably about half an hour before I actually put him in. And if you guys are wondering why there's like chunky stuff on top of the water, that's because I just got done deep cleaning this whole tank. So I was... I accidentally like stirred up in there, but the filter will clear that all out. By the time he's ready to go in, it'll probably just be crystal clear again. So we're just going to float him now. And it's okay if he does tip over. I'm just going to lower him. Hmm. Alrighty. So mm -hmm. we're going to leave him like that for about... 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll come back when he is fully acclimated I've let the little shrimpy acclimate for about check my watch about three hours now because I was cooking dinner and I kind of forgot that I got a pet shrimp so let's put him in the tank all right guys so now I'm gonna take him out of here Try and be as careful as I can. Alright. This bag is so huge for a little tiny guy. And I've got a towel on my floor too, so that's alright. Um, since it's dark outside, my room is a bit darker, so you might not be able to see him. Hope he's in this corner down here. Alright, I hope you guys could see him there, but I've got a tall cup here, and I'm going to try and carefully put this bag into the cup, but as you can see, it's a bit wider, so I need to be sure that he's not in one of these corners when I crunch it up, you know. Alright, you guys, so I just got it, like, the corners mostly in the cup, 
and there's a little bit of water in the bottom so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this kind of quick because there's a little tiny hole in the bag I have some scissors over here and now I'm just going to cut this top open um, I'm gonna get you guys on different angles so you can actually see I can actually see what I'm doing this bag is huge for this little teeny tiny shrimp inside but I'm just gonna attempt to cut this open now all right well cut the top of the bag open and I'm gonna cut it shorter because it is such a huge bag alrighty well now you guys can see the whole bag I gotta be sure that I hold this though and in a I'm new bowl and now I'm just going to put in some water from my tank back there to start getting him used to the water type that's in my tank so we're just going to add in a little bit of that last clips ended so quickly my phone was running out of space but I made some more room now I'm going to show you guys oh yeah I finished dropping in his water now I'm going to show when I put him in the tank over there and I'm going to turn on another light in my room so you guys can see a bit better just got him in the net and I'm really nervous about this part but basically I'm just going to take him out and um put him in the water Nola on count of three. One, two, three. do it okay guys here it goes here it goes he's in the water he's in the water He's out of the net, guys. He's out of the net. Nola, stop the video. Alrighty, well, we successfully got him in the tank, but it's so dark in my room that I can't find him. We put him in right about, like, right there by the rock, sort of, but I just don't know where he is. I see my fish, but I'm thinking he's in that little house right there because that's a super dark spot and he was trying to hide in the corners of the bag so I'm guessing he's scared but I will try to record for you guys if I see him tomorrow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed what you saw with me getting a pet shrimp today. I'm hoping I'm gonna write myself a note so I'll remember to record tomorrow if I do see the shrimp. I'm sure I'll see him tomorrow in the sunlight. It's just super dark in my room at night. But on a more, like, serious note, you guys saw a while ago I posted a coronavirus update video. Now it's totally different. We're well over 100 cases where I live, and we are fully quarantined, me and my mom and my dad. Um, my mom and my dad live in separate houses, but we are quarantined at both, so we're hardly going anywhere. And if we do, we're wearing masks and sanitizing and wiping everything down. And unfortunately, today we got a call, not us, but um, my Nana's mom and dad are in a nursing home, which they would be my great-grandma and great-grandpa. And today my Nana's sister got a call saying that my great-grandpa has the coronavirus. This is some super scary news and just things that you never think would happen to your own family. So for me, it's super scary, especially since we haven't seen them in so long. And of course, we can't right now, but it's scary because they also live in a small nursing home. And people who are in nursing homes are older and it's... Um, he's 89 years old, so we're really hoping that he can get well from this, be fully cured, but he also lives in the same room at the nursing home with my great-grandma, and when they tested her for the coronavirus, her test came back negative, and we're wondering how that could be since they live in the same room together and everything, so we're hoping that she doesn't get it, even though she might but our fingers are crossed, we're hoping they'll get better, but if any of you guys are struggling with the same thing, my heart goes out to you guys, 
Anyways, I hope you enjoy this next clip. I'm going to throw this in at the end. This was from a couple weekends ago when we were at my dad's house and we remade some baby photos. So that's a really fun clip that's coming up. So yesterday after I ended the clip of us putting the shrimp in the tank, I said I'd record today. But I just fed my fish because I forgot to record this morning. And I don't want to scare them right now since they're all eating. So I'm not sure if I'm going to insert any clips of him in the tank, but I might at the end of the video or if I see him today. But after those clips, I did see him last night. He was just along the back wall eating some algae. But I hope you guys enjoy the clips of us remaking baby photos. This is Kylie and Nola. And in today's video, we're going to be remaking some baby photos of us. Hope you guys enjoy. First photo we're going to be recreating is me and I'm just laying on this little zebra print pillow which I'm thinking this will come out pretty good because I still have that same pillow. I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie, red. The next photo is me and baby Nola. This one is going to be outside and I'm thinking I'm going to have to use fake flowers for that. The picture turned out great and now we're outside about to try and do I mean, oh, the first picture turned out great. Now we're outside trying to do the second picture, and we've got a trash can to hold my phone and some flowers and sunglasses. Let's see how this one goes. Somebody come get her, she's dancing like... Now is going to be me. This picture I took when we were at a Bucks game, and we don't have that same sweatband, so I'll probably just be wearing a different one in that picture. much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!